I pointed out the other day Samadun, which held these horrific protests where they were calling for death to Israel, death to America, death to Canada. They burned our flag. These monsters are a front for another terrorist group in the Middle East that has been banned for 20 years. The Americans, yeah, the Europeans and other countries have tackled this terrorist group, but why in Canada does Justin Trudeau continue to pander to these terrorist supporters by allowing them to operate legally even when they have violated our anti-terrorism laws? Another example, of course, is the Houthis. Now, the Houthis have been operating on our country even though they can operate in our country. We don't know for sure if they have because we don't have laws to stop or even surveil it. But the Houthis are a front for the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, an organization that is the biggest and most well-organized terrorist group in the world, which supports Hamas and Hezbollah. This organization murdered 55 Canadian citizens by shooting a missile at a civilian aircraft over Iran, blowing it out of the sky four years ago, and yet Trudeau allowed them to stay legal, raising money and terrorizing our people for years after that. Now, a related front group, the Houthis, continues to fire missiles at civilians, attack merchant ships that carry uh, critical uh, civilian and humanitarian aid, killing uh, civilian workers on those ships. The Americans banned the Houthis back in January. The Liberals at the time said they were thinking about it. What is there to think about? Since October 7th, the terrorist attacks, Houthi terrorists have disregarded international law. They carry out attacks in the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden. According to the American Secretary of State, Anthony Blinken, since November 2023, the Houthis have launched unprecedented in attacks against international maritime vessels in the Red Sea and Gulf of Aden, as well as military forces positioned in the area to defend the safety and security of commercial shipping. These attacks against international shipping have endangered mariners, disrupted the free flow of commerce, and interfered with the navigational rights and freedoms. Earlier this month, a Houthi spokesman celebrated the, uh, the attacks they had done and said they've targeted 193 ships linked to the Israeli, American, and British enemy. They've also launched hundreds of missiles at innocent Israeli civilians to support Hamas. The Houthis operate with the support of the criminal regime in Tehran who helped organize the October 7th attack. The murderous Iranian regime uses groups like Houthis, Hezbollah, and Hamas to spread violence and terror throughout the world. That's why the Americans have designated them as a terrorist group, and they have called on others to do the same. Jewish Canadians and all Canadians deserve to feel safe. They deserve to know that they will not be targeted by terrorist groups that operate here, money, launder money here, finance organized crime here, and foment hatred here. And for these reasons, common sense conservatives are calling on the NDP Liberal government to list the Houthis as a terror group under Section 83.05 of the Anti-Terrorism Law. That will allow our law enforcement the power to seize their bank accounts, shut down their operations, criminalize recruitment, logistics, and planning on Canadian soil to keep our people safe.